G'day folks, Ben from SOAS today showing you this awesome lightweight rooftop tent from 230 called the Dakota Superlight. Hit it. This super light rooftop tent is perfect for SUVs and soft road as it features self-deploying awnings and all the features you'd expect in the high-end tent such as light suppressing fabric, storage and built-in USB lights. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. We're down here at the National 4x4 and Outdoor Show in Sydney on the 230 stand. Running out of time for the day, but I really want to show you the 230 Dakota Superlight tent here. It's the only rooftop tent we've got set up on a sedan here today. So this is on a Subaru Forester. And the reason I really want to show you this is that not everyone's got a big car and you want a lightweight rooftop tent to go on the top. Now this guy measures 118 centimeters in width this way, 132 centimeters in length this way, and about 24 centimeters in height of edge here. But it does have a ladder mounted on top here at the moment, which adds about another five to seven centimeters. You don't have to mount the ladder on top. You can mount that in the back of the car if you like. Now the whole tent itself weighs 41 kilos. That's excluding the ladder. If you add the ladder in, it's about 46 kilos, but well within the parameters of what most of these cars can handle suddenly for a full size rooftop tent and it's roomy. I'll sit in it shortly and show you. I'll set it up first. So the first things we need to do is undo these straps. There's buckles on the other side to loosen these straps. And then there's a zip that runs right around the edge under this storm flap here across the three sides. And this tonneau cover then sits in a sail track here that we can slide out and put in the back of the vehicle. I've got to walk to the front there, but before I do, there are a couple of straps at the back here that'll undo just to save me doing an extra loop. So undo that while it's here. Same on this back corner here. If I just lift this up while I'm standing at this side of the car, loosen that, it's gonna be ready when we go around, take the tonneau cover off and set it up with the ladder. If you find the tonneau cover is caught, you might just need to come back over the other side and loosen it right up over the top here. Make sure it's free of anything. If you do that before you walk around the other side, you don't have to go back and forward too much. Now these straps, just pull them down and just be wary that there are metal buckles on the end there so you don't want to damage your vehicle. So we'll just hang them down and we'll tuck them on top of the tire there. We can now pull the tonneau cover right over and slide it out of the sail track here. That's now free to put inside of our vehicle and store separately and we can move to setting up the actual tent. I've just come around to the ladder here to show you your options with the ladder. Now, I've got this stored up here at the moment. You have got these little release, you press the button on the end here, release these pins to remove the ladder completely. If you want to reduce the roof load, you can put that in the back of the car or just leave it on top like this. So to use the ladder, we need the ladder for setup. Undo the strap and just push this far enough so that we can reach it on the other side of the vehicle. Now we can walk around and we're gonna pull this open to set the tent up. Grab our ladder now and extend it all the way out. And this is what we're gonna to use to lever the top of the rooftop tent open. So pull this down until it gets up to a certain point, being careful not to hit your vehicle. Then you wanna pull this over center. And what you'll notice as you set this up is that these are all self-deploying awnings on the side here. So as this comes down to set up, they set up automatically for us. So we don't have any extra setup for this rooftop tent here. Now you can see the ladder's at a bit much of an angle here. So you wanna shorten that up and the ladder needs to support the tent. So we push these latches here, shorten the first rung. I'm gonna do another one. That's pretty good there now. And I'm just gonna lift the ladder a little bit or squeeze it in so that it takes the weight of the rooftop tent, reduces the stress on the roof rack. So this is now supporting this overhanging portion of the tent. Now the beauty of this tent is because all of these awnings here are all self-deploying, we don't have any more setup to do. The only thing we've got to think about is how we want to use the doors and windows inside. You've got integrated storage that all packs away with the tent and all we can do is climb inside and rest up. So I'll climb in now and show you the space inside. There's loads of space inside here given it's a lightweight rooftop tent. It's about 105 centimetres to the peak here. I can sit right at the back here. The other person is kind of symmetrical so another person can sit up there and you can play games if you like. You've got panoramic views all around. So there's large windows that go right from here to the same points at the other end there with double panels on that on both sides. Large doors at each end with double panels once again. Once again, mesh vents, two of them in the roof here that go through to a PVC panel on the outside so you can let light in. The fabric itself has got an LST coating on the inside. So this is a durable, completely weatherproof ripstop fabric with an LST coating. So it's gonna give you durability and it's gonna cut out a heap of the light. So you're not sitting, or you can sleep in in the mornings or if you're in a caravan park where it's really bright, it's gonna make it nice and dark inside the tent. And you got some pretty cool storage options right along the top here. There's five mesh pockets that run on here. Same on the opposite side. Mesh pockets once again that run right along here. In this middle one, we've got a USB power bank. So plugged into USB, to the integrated lighting that sits in a PVC panel across the top here. So you've got lighting right at the top of the tent. Comfort in the tent, you've got heaps of rooms, 120 wide. It's not the widest of tents, but good for you and your partner. But in terms of length, 
is 230 centimeters. It does slope down to the ends a little, so you don't get a fully usable 230 centimeters of length. Now I've left my shoes on for this video, but if I lie down, even with my size 13 boots on, I've got head space here and my feet are only just touching the fabric at the far end of the tent there. So plenty of room uh, for the tallest of people as well, uh, room next door for someone else as well. But if you do travel solo, you can sit di or lie diagonally across here and you've got even more space. And what I'm lying on here is a 70 millimeter rebound foam mattress. It's got this nice soft velour finish on it uh, and 70 millimeters of padding underneath. That is 23 Zero's Dakota Superlight rooftop tent. If you've got a vehicle like this, an SUV that doesn't have the massive roof load rating of many four wheel drives, or you just wanna save on fuel and have a smaller car for camping, but you want the, uh, or the convenience of a rooftop tent, Check out the 23-0 Dakota Superlight because you can trim it down to just 41 kilos on top of your roof and it's relatively low profile when it's packed up. An awesome lightweight tent that still offers heaps of room inside and panoramic views while you're sitting in there. Check them out online at snowys.com.au.